every time I make a sale, it's like I'm slowly, slowly becoming a new person and slowly overcoming my stuttering and my speech. And also, I mean, I've, I'm at a level now where just like, I want to beat myself. I want to, like every day I look in the mirror and I'm kind of like, I, Oliver Lester, can become a better version of myself today. Like, it's very corny, but I want to execute on my talents. Like, I, I think I was given a gift and I can talk to people and I'm persuasive and I'm, I'm and like I work my, my ass off and I want to beat myself every day and I want to execute on the talents that I was given by God and every day that I was given to be the best person I can be. That's kind of why I do it. I had to show up at this time. I had to do this and I hated it. And everyone always told me, you know, you can't do anything without school. Um, and so halfway through grade 12, you know, when I was given this opportunity by Oliver to come make a bunch of money, I said, let's go for it. How'd it go? <laughs> Let's go, fellas, eh? Yeah, who's in the bathroom, bro? Oh, yeah, to a goal maker? Yes, sir. Good How'd it go last night? Good. It went actually really good. Ready to go? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Let's go, buddy. Uh, my name is Oliver Lester, and I'm 23, and I'm from Calgary, Alberta. In Canada. All right, so uh, in Calgary, where did you grow up, Oliver? I grew up in Mackenzie Lake, so that's in the southeast, kind of like the suburbs. Um, and I grew up just playing hockey my whole life, just like any other Canadian kid. Um, you know, my parents were divorced, so it was kind of a bit unique situation. Um, but me and my brother just played hockey and stayed busy, kind of in our free time. I think I was like five, so pretty much all I remember is kind of. Um, you know, we would switch houses every few days, and at the time I didn't really think anything of it. It was kind of like just normal life kind of thing, and then now I realize it was a very different situation, but I think it kind of worked out because I got to kind of see different ways of doing things, and I just had a very unique childhood. And I think that really helped me because at such a young age, like I moved to a different high school, I lived in so many different places, and even now, like I'm 23 and I've lived in like seven different places and a lot of my friends, they've just lived in Calgary. So I think it's really beneficial because you get to see so much so young and it like really shaped me, I think. Where did you finish off uh, your last year in hockey? Uh, Prince George in BC. How was that? It was a good experience, I think. I was 20 years old, it was like my sixth team. So it's kind of the end of the road and that kind of is when the story kind of takes off because a few years prior, um, I came home and my dreams were kind of slowly fading away from my grasp and um, you know because my dream was always to, like you know to be a hockey player I wanted to play in the NHL like every other player and I wanted to um, you know play college in the States and just playing D1 never really happened for me so I came home and it was it was pretty disappointing when I was like 18 because I didn't really know what I was doing with my life my whole my whole world view was I thought I was going to be in the NHL I couldn't even imagine anything else and then simultaneously what kind of happened was I went on Kijiji looking for a job I'd kind of reached rock bottom honestly because I didn't really know what I was going to do without hockey and I saw this job and it said make $1,200 a day and I was kind of that one silly idiot that clicked on it and now we're here <laughs> Bro, my shot is It's ready to go. It's absolutely ready to go. Can okay, I text you your first one? See you, bud. Hello. Very good, dog. Hi. Hello. Cheers, lad. Jeez, <laughs> um, so I went in the next day and it was just a door-to-door -door sales job and um, 
I hadn't really done it before. I'd done some other minor stuff, but nothing crazy. And my first day I um, made $250, so that was kind of cool. And then my second day I made 500, and my third day I made 1,000. And so I made $1,750 in like three days, and my life was kind of changed from there. And what happened was my first day, I was kind of having a really bad day, to be honest, for the first three or four hours, not making any sales. And the owner of the company came up to me and he kind of was like, do you want me to show you how to become like a millionaire? And I was like, sure. <laughs> you know, like, why wouldn't you want that? And he came in his second door with me, he sold the door that this person had no business getting sold at all. This girl wanted nothing, nothing to do with it. And he convinced her to do like the job. And I just remember kind of a light bulb kind of went off in my head and I was like, oh my God, like my life has changed. Like if this guy can do it, this guy was just a kind of a weirdo to be honest. Like, why can't I? And literally in that moment, literally that second, I was like, okay, well, I'm gonna become a millionaire doing this. Like, this is what I can do. Like if this guy can do it, why can't I? And my journey kind of took off from there because I was like, wow, this guy can do it, I can do it. And I worked so hard that summer to become really good at door-to-door -door sales. And then later that summer, I started my own business. And four, year, uh, like four years later, I mean, I have a pretty big company with me and my brother, and it all kind of started from that moment. So I'm pretty thankful for that. So you're going all the way down, you're getting this. Don't come out, this is like the Monsignor Smith walking with this. <laughs> oh God. <laughs> you can look at me. You don't have to look at yeah, the Yeah, I'm gonna look at you. It looks okay. better that way. Yeah. Uh, my name is Josh Lester. I'm from Calgary, Alberta, and I'm 19 years old. Uh, well, to be honest, um, we never really got along growing up. We always uh, we always hated each other a little bit. But I think, um, to be honest, door knocking was kind of the way for us to connect because it was like the one real thing that we were both kind of on each other's levels on and we kind of both related to it in the sense that we were kind of, I think, born for door-to-door -door sales. I think that was kind of our calling. So. When we both kind of started knocking doors together, that was when we really connected as brothers for the first time and stopped hating each other because it was finally like, hey, we're no longer against each other now, let's get together on this and do something great kind of thing. Uh, so. This is my second season. Yeah. Um, long seasons, obviously, they're only six months long, but when you're going six, six days a week, uh, 12 hours a day, you put in a lot of hours and get a lot of practice in. So. Um, I think my maturity really developed as I was thrown in kind of like a CEO position with my brother and also um, I'm now managing a full crew of guys every single day and I'm in charge of like 20 people a day. Thinking back to who I was, I've really developed as a person and I'm a lot more mature now and I think I've grown into almost a man whereas last year I was just a little kid. Um, you say, yeah, some homeowners like to take them out and we always give them a wash as a courtesy. However, some people like to just leave them in because with the deionized water, we're able to clean through the screen. Um, my role as a manager, I spend a few hours each night planning my routes, uh, make sure the boys are all taken care of and they know what they're doing the next day. What does that mean, um, planning your routes? Essentially, I'm, I'm on Google Maps all night, checking out the streets, checking out the routes, figuring out the demographic of all the homeowners um, so that my sales, so I cater to my best salesman. Um, and obviously, as a manager, the top routes go to the top guys. That's a manager secret, don't tell anyone. Um, but yeah, my job as a manager is basically just to take care of the boys all day. I like to take a worker and knock myself. However, on a day like this, when I'm really busy, I don't really have time. So essentially, I'm in charge of however many guys I have in the van. I have to know what my guys are on all day, where they're doing, how they're doing. I have to come solve problems, change tanks. My job as a manager is very busy. It's very chaotic during the day a lot of the time. Um, it's very stressful. Sometimes my hair wants to fall out, but when the crew's doing well, it's a lot of fun. And it's funny because when the crew's doing bad, that's when I'm most busy because I'm dealing with calls, guys guys pissed off. Um, door knocking's a very tough gig, mentally, obviously. Um, it's super hard to keep yourself dialed in and focus all day long, especially when you're getting beat up out there. You deal with so much rejection as a door knocker um, throughout every single day. So um, I would say, honestly, door knocking is something that I, I would literally recommend absolutely everybody tries door knocking. I think it's such an unbelievable skill to have because you learn how to act, like there's nothing else in the world where you get this much volume with interacting with people all day long, dealing with problems, adults, and you learn people's tendencies a lot. Like, it's so funny, I've knocked so many doors now that I say something this so that they say this. I know what everybody's gonna say after every single line I say, just gauging off their face and what I say because I've done this for so long. 
So door knocking, honestly, door knocking changed my life. And the money is good. <laughs> no soliciting, eh? My favorite. I hate pitching with dogs. It drives me absolutely crazy. Okay. This is the house, I'm telling you. This is the house. Let's go. This is the house. Oh, this is the one. You can stand right here. This is the one. This is the one. Perfect. Over here. Hello, miss. How are you? Good. Uh, we're not interested. Mm -hmm. I just popped over, miss. Have you seen me on the street by chance, really quick? No. Okay, oh, thank you. okay. I'm just servicing three of your neighbors. I just want to pop by really quick, no, miss. We're doing all this stuff. That's good. 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 If you're genuinely a good door knocker, no matter how tough a day you are, you're having, there's no way you don't sell 1500. Like, okay. if you work all day long, man. You can't not. That's the way if you have a worker. Like, if you knock all day long, you are bound to, especially in, in early season like this, you are absolutely bound to walk into a couple of sales a couple of right now. You're bound to. Especially if you have a worker. Yeah. You just had these things uh, painted last week, so. Oh, you had the frames painted? Yeah. Oh, awesome, sir. Super cool. So we're hand scrubbing all the windows as well, and we're doing all the sills because they got get really backed up with all the dirt. And so those sills are brand new. Awesome. Um, so we just I'll painted do, them last week. I'll just go around and give you a quick price just so no, you know. So no, you get all the forget it. Forget up. it. I don't need a price. It's all brand new. Mm -hmm. Sir, no one no one wants to do it until they hear the right price. I'll go around and give you a price just so you know, sir. Just don't so you know. Don't waste my time. I just, this paint is less than a week old. Mm -hmm. And I just popped over, sir, because we're doing the glass. I don't care. I don't care. But, um, and I was also a little bit young and immature for that kind of thing. It's hard to really close a lot, of, a lot of deals during the day when you're like a really young looking kid. I mean, even now I've got bleach blonde hair and braces. Like it's still, it's still difficult to, um, but I've just matured a lot more so it's easier. But I still remember my first year, just how nervous I was all the time. And I just, I, I look back on how, how I've grown since then. I was just, I was a little kid. Get a little mental reset for a second. Take some time, collect your thoughts. Sensors though, to keep people away from the door so he doesn't get to shoot them. So I got out of there pretty quick. Uh, it was a little funny, it kept me going throughout the day, yeah, yeah. got the adrenaline going. My name is McKillen Couture, and I'm from uh, Pelopi, Saskatchewan. Okay. Sorry, where? Oh, uh, what, what was the question? Where are you from, sir? Pardon me? Where are you from? Now, what did you say? Here. Uh, a big dog in the back of I think three times or two times this last week, you were sitting in the front seat at the end of the day. Like, what do you think's changed in your game over the last week that's kind of got you to that position? The biggest thing is uh, my confidence going up to the door. Um, I seemed at the start I was having a little bit of anxiety going to a couple of like the homeowners and now I feel like it's not really there. I'm comfortable talking to random people now. I'm comfortable being myself and also not only selling the product but my skills to, to everyone. Um, living in a house with these guys, like you said, it's awesome. It kind of, I've been away so long, just like playing hockey. I'm used to like being with a group of brothers, and it's super tight all around. Uh, makes my time here really fun, and just makes it work that much easier when you're having so much fun. We're gonna do a little interview for you here. It's been a crazy day, Cam. Oh yeah, it's been a real crazy day. All right, Cam, how's the day been? It's been pretty good, you know. Just, just trying to stay on my feet, trying to stay moving. I keep a good pace, get as many doors as I can. You know, door to door isn't very easy, right? No. No? So how do you keep going on a tough day? You just gotta take deep breaths. And, uh, you just gotta remember that it's not you, it's them. Uh, unless it is you. <laughs> <laughs> then it's you? Yeah, then it's you. <laughs> just move on to the next house, buddy. Um, and then text me the address of that house, please. I'll go take care of those homeowners, okay? Okay. Okay, good job, Sav. We'll see you in a bit. Okay. Bye. Doing a little uh, tank switch out here. Got a... Make sure these filters are nice, nice and clean. Keep the homeowners happy, keep the sales coming. Hello. Ah, we have 
I'm not sure how many salesmen we have today. I think I want to say eight. I want to say eight. Oh, it's been so crazy, man. I don't even have a, don't even have a chance to take a piss. Been ru running around like a madman all day. We're just we're just buzzing around. It's just I don't know. You just got to stay in a positive mindset at all times because every single homeowner can feel your energy. So like if you're if you're tired, if you're low energy at the door, then people like instantly it's totally you're dragging them down. So they almost want to repel you. Their sales guard goes up instantly because they feel like you're you're trying to be, sell them, right? Nobody likes being sold. It's same as when you're at a store and someone's like, oh, can I can I help you find anything? No, 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 no we're good instantly. That's everyone's first saying no we're good we're just browsing because you don't want to be sold nobody likes to be sold my name is Dante Hubick I'm from Calgary Alberta and uh, <laughs> redo that read that redo that <laughs> so yeah. money here is unlike any other place and then on top of that I get to interact with hundreds and hundreds of different people every day thank you wow, wow. Thank, thank you so you. much thank you so sweet. That's amazing. Wow. Thank you. Young people like you give me faith <laughs> in your generation, which is hard to come by these days. Well, I mean, I, the biggest thing for door knocking is like it's mental. So, I mean, obviously, when you have a bad interaction, you kind of think about it, like it just kind of sticks. But, I mean, for the most part, people are receptive. They kind of know the game for the most part. So, that's kind of our job is to act and break sales patterns and yeah convince people that we're just working right next door at susan's house yeah i've been, I've been working on it today today's been a little bit challenging but i'm working on it how many houses do you think you've knocked today uh 150 to 200 i'd say and how many yeses have you got two <laughs> <laughs> that's a lot of no's yeah, eh? yeah that's a lot of no's you get a lot of no's my name's uh, Dawson McKenzie and I'm from Winnipeg, Manitoba. And uh, where are you right now? I'm at uh, the frat house, we like to call it, in uh, Calgary. Because one of my good buddies, it's his company and uh, I played hockey with him in Nippon. And uh, told me to come on out and I uh, did and I'm out here giving it a shot and I love it so far. Yeah. We need to find this quick connect. Okay guys, listen up, listen up, listen up! We just fucking murked Douglas Day! Yeah. <laughs> Unreal day today, boys. Um, it's pretty, pretty cool that we can get dropped into an area. Um, all of us negative money, starting the day with nothing but two blue cylinders and a red pole. And we walk out of this area with 10 grand. That's fucking unbelievable, boys. Um, everybody absolutely battled today. Shout out to my boy Aaron on his first day, 1.7. Hey, hey, hey. hey, hey. We're also, uh, we're welcoming a new member today, guys, into the 1K club. Welcome aboard, Doss. Give him a round. Hey, hey, hey. Yeah, boys, it's really nice to see everybody developing every single day. Um, I went and knocked with Dawson today and I could tell right away he was already that much more comfortable at the door, which is really nice to see because guys, I know it's a tough gig. I know these are long hours um, and I know sometimes things don't go your way and it's really tough out there, but it's nice to see everybody battling it out and really working on mastering their skills. I picked up Mick today, for example, and Mick's been really, really good lately. But he had a bit of a slower day today and he got in the van and he got humbled a little bit and it's kind of like you realize yes we're all very very skilled but we're still human and we still all fall victim to our own emotions during a day guys we're out there we're all alone the money is great but it comes at a price and that price is hard work and everybody in here works their bag off every single day and it's really awesome to see everyone develop Yeah, it's pretty simple. We just we just knock doors and we sell like home services. We sell window cleaning. And it's kind of cool because a lot of people don't really realize how profitable it is. But me and my brother have kind of cracked the code in how to train and how to teach. And what we do is we recruit a bunch of university students, a bunch of college kids, a bunch of hockey players, and we teach them how to knock doors. And knocking doors is kind of cool because like 
it's not hourly. There's literally no guaranteed money, but um, so you kind of make what you kill. Every single window and frame on the whole house, and then. I mean, I want you guys to be happy because everyone kind of knows each other on the street and the more happy people, the like, easier it is to do more jobs. So as soon as we're done, um, you and me can walk around and make sure the whole place looks something like Do you know what? Time's a little tight because of COVID. Mm -hmm. I think I'll, uh, I'll let it go because I did clean them and it's going to rain again. Of so course, completely I'm understand. I'm and losing. that's why we do the frames on the top, sir, because when it rains, then it doesn't get the windows dirty. Runs down, but yeah. I can level with you. I understand. It's crazy times. Yeah. Well, oh, good for you guys. Can I do another. um? Can I do something kind of crazy for you? Because there is a bit of build up. Why don't I do this? We're just a few doors down, anyways. Why don't I take out fifty bucks, call it one forty nine for the whole house, and we'll get the whole house done for you. Do you know what? And then as soon as I'll, we're I'll done, let, I'll let it go. Mm -hmm. right, I'm right in the middle of drywalling, so <laughs> no worries. Part of the dry. You're busy. It sounds like you're telling me reasons why you do want to, do want to get it done. So you're busy. <laughs> no, it's um, my, is it's my it kind of, project. Is it kind of the price or the value that you're kind of a bit hesitant on? No, it's just money, period. So, of course. And I, I agree, don't. sir. I don't think you should spend money. Spending money is bad. What I do think you should do, since we're so lucky to be in Mackenzie Lake, you know, beautiful, like on a park is to just invest in your home. So why don't we do this? I'm gonna throw in the outside of the gutters for you. Do you see all the stuff up top, sir? Yeah. I'm gonna throw that in for you. You're painting it or what? We're gonna scrub it all down to get rid of all the dirt and all of the dust. You see that stuff? Do you know what? And then I'm gonna take it's it down to 125. Okay. All I ask of you, sir, uh -huh. go inside, make sure all the windows are closed, and yeah. that one's open. Just make sure that one's closed. Yeah. And I know you probably know people on the street. We're doing everyone-ish for 150 to 249. Don't tell the neighbors, I'm an ethical dude. I don't want to ruin my my reputation on the street. <laughs> we'll get it done for you. Go inside in a couple hours, you'll come out to a clean house. Okay. We've trained, we've trained, I think, over, I think, 60 salesmen in the past four years, and a lot of them average over $500 commission every day. So it's pretty cool what we've done and what we're doing. And uh, what do you take for payment? Cash check, you transfer, whatever. Okay. Um, All the sales. Um, you're gonna do this one, Sav, and Pankaj, you're gonna do this one. I want you guys to do an awesome job on both houses, okay? Okay. Oh, How the fuck can you live when you don't like what you're doing? Like, no I, like I have to clock in and do something I don't even wanna do? Are you crazy? Yeah, so we'll get it done and then you can save some money and then make sure you take them out for ice cream though on the kids, cause they know you're saving the $30. It's half, it's gonna have to go for ice cream. That's okay. So fair. you do the top? All the How windows on the, the whole house. We use extended water foot poles with nylon brushes. Okay. And do you use your own water or do you use ours? We use yours and we hook it up through our tank so it fills it up down to zero parking. Okay. And then dry street free. Sure. Okay. Sounds good. And my name's Oliver, as I said. Okay. Um, all I need from you is your name and address and we'll pop over and make it look super awesome. Right? Well, no, like you see me and Josh, we work 12 hours a day, pretty much six days a week for six months on end. Yeah. Like it's not. Yeah, I want more days off. I would like the rest sometimes, but like, dude, I can knock 12 hours a day and I love it, you know? It's not work to me, you know? So what we're doing for the mist, we're hand scrubbing all of the windows and all of the frames, top to bottom around the house. So I just want to see the last time you had that taken care of. Um, not today, I just bought a bunch of stuff to do that myself. But... Oh, really, miss? Okay, so how are you going to get the windows at the top there? I bought a telescoping. Oh, gotcha. Do you use the ionized water as well? No. No. Okay, so that's kind of why we're getting called in, because um, we just got the newest setup, so it's a very premium service. Um, so we use deionized water, which almost places a negative layer on all the windows, helps repel all that dust, dirt, and pollen for up to six months, and we almost have a guaranteed clean. So what I'm going to do for you, super quickly, 30 seconds, go around, well, just get you a quick price. House, yeah, I'm going to run around 30 seconds, get you a quick price. Okay. Okay. Like, awesome. By the time I hit like my seventh loop, I just started being outrageous. I was like, well, sir, like the reason I'm coming over. I mean, all these other houses on your block here, they're all clean. And sir, your house is quite filthy. So the neighbors kind of told me to come over and give you a discount. And this guy's face just goes flush. He is just pissed, just right pissed. Runs inside. And I'm like, I'm on, I'm on call with Casey, I believe. And I'm like, Casey, this guy's coming to get a gun, man. He's about to shoot me. Um, <laughs> name's Casey Lycar from... Uh, Winnipeg, Manitoba. That's right. And it's cool. Everyone comes from different parts of Canada. Everyone's got their own reasons for coming out. Everyone's got their own thing that brought them out there. But it's cool because we all kind of come for that same common goal, right? Whatever, dude. We meet some cool people. I met Lou Cheech. Door knocker. Fair enough. 
Fair enough. I'd rather m- meet Lucic than probably Mr. Bauer. I mean, he does make hockey sticks, <laughs> he I'm, I'm a big ass. CCM guy. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, I'm pretty good. Uh, I sold my second knock there. Uh, it's just a sad house over there. Um, and, uh, yeah, I sold that one for 349 And that was all the windows and deck glass. And I hit 1K by 12.30 there. Yourself, Mick? Yeah, you know, I'm not doing bad today at all either. I also hit on my second house, and it's just the one right behind us. And little 289 just a quick job i'm sitting at 800 by 12 30 so feeling not bad today <laughs> everybody has such a good attitude during the day it's and it's hard but um you know once you get in the rhythm of knocking doors and once you find a true passion for it it becomes second nature and uh everyone here just loves what they do so we we fly guys out and we let them live for free but that's not why everyone is so grateful and loves doing it it's because We've built such an amazing team atmosphere and everybody wants a piece of it. You know what? My wife is the one that's in there who was upset about the comment that she made. She was shaken up about that one, eh? Yeah. Oh, wow. Yeah, she was. You don't go door to door making comments like that to a woman. Um, I could literally go knock any one of these doors. You can shadow knock me. I'll make the same comment and they'll laugh. They'll say, wow, that was funny. You want to go? We'll go knock a door right now. I'll give my pitch right now. You want to see? We'll yeah. go. Yeah, let's go. Let's, yeah, let's go take let's a look. Let's, let's, let's go knock on the door, door right now. We'll knock these guys right here. How does that sound? You guys have the notepads out? Oh, okay. Just checking. Just checking. Hello, hello. How are you, Miss? Awesome. Um, have you have you seen me on the street at all today, Miss? Have you seen me on the street at all? No. Oh, just the good looking guys in blue. <laughs> um, I just came over. Um, I'm uh, working for a bunch of the neighbors in the street on. and we're helping them do all this stuff. I'll just show you, just so you know. We're scrubbing all the windows and all the frames. So I want to come over and see when you had them done last. Yeah, I have them done last. And to be honest, Miss, the reason why everyone's kind of doing it today, aside from my new haircut, Miss, is because we're getting the deal. So what I'll do, just so you know, I'll go around town with the glass and I'll come give you a quick fix, just so you know. Mm-hmm. And so we're literally hand scrubbing every square inch of all the windows and all the frames. Um, and we're doing all the top stuff. So like I said, I'll just go around town with the glass, give you a price just so you know. It's just so you know, so you have the right information. Is the gate on this side or this side? Just so you know. Any particular reason, if you don't mind me asking? No, I have some right now. Is your husband this handsome as yeah, I'll just go around and give you a quick price just so you know. Okay, no worries. Have a great day, Miss. Point proven, guys. Have a great day, gentlemen. Have a great day. Did I prove a point? Did I prove my point? I said the exact same thing. She said her husband did it. I say he was handsome as me, and she laughed. She laughed because it was funny. Was that rude? Was I being rude, Miss? Was I being rude? Was that offensive? That I asked if your husband was as yeah. handsome as me. Yeah. Were you offended, miss? Were you thrown off? Was I hurting his feelings? No, I was making a joke. I'm a door-to-door salesman. I'm a Please kid. Say. I'm a kid trying to make some money. No. No. I just right. put these guys in their place. Right here, and you can <laughs> that did not just happen. That could, could not have played out any more perfect. That couldn't have played out any more perfect. That was so good. I did exactly what he told me to do. Exactly. Is your husband as handsome as me? Giggle. Ah, uh, no. <laughs> Listen up. Hey guys, thank you uh, for tonight for being really respectful with time and everything. Today was a lot better than yesterday. Um, I know it sucks with like all these pickups and I know right now the equipment was a bit of a shit show We just got a bunch of new tanks and brushes in so we're gonna be good moving forward later on in the week okay. Everybody's gonna have full sets of equipment and I'm gonna need all you sellers cleaning because you guys sell so many houses every day um, Because of that and I just want to create this company as a big team where everyone's trying to make each other better and I don't want a bunch of salesmen I don't want just a bunch of workers that just sell. I want to. I don't want to create salesmen. I want to create leaders so that we can expand and so that we can grow. And that's one of the biggest things me, me and Josh have done this year is we've tried to really create leaders. 8:40 in the morning. Time to wake everyone up. Time to make some money, baby. Dante, time to get up, bud. Time to get up, dude. 
The case man. Case man caster. He's delicious. Can we have Holly? Colter. Yeah. <laughs> Get your ass up. Sure. First day, eh? <laughs> when you work six days a week, everyone's super tired. The boss man's gotta wake him up. <laughs> What's up, boys? Arise, sir. It's a good day to have a great day. Let's go, pal. Time to get up, homie. 10 minutes, bud. <laughs> Others are more receptive. Hunter! Oh wait, you're already up. <laughs> Necker! Yeah. Time to get up, big fella. My name's Cameron Denchuk. Uh, I'm from Winnipeg, Manitoba. Make the rounds a couple times and then we're off. Um, I've been here for a week now. Gotta be up in like 10 minutes, bro, okay? Yeah. <laughs> You're in a body bag, eh? <laughs> <laughs> You're getting everyone the best. <laughs> well, I like um, how like the sky's kind of the limit. Like you can make as much money as long as you get better and uh, improve yourself, I guess. We're all laughing, we're all hugging, we're all dancing, and it just—it's so cool that Oliver and Josh bring in strangers <laughs> and they turn us into like a family in. A very short period of time, and I feel yeah, like that that camaraderie is really good. The complete bottom, <laughs> like, it's unbelievable, it's man! It's so good. It's actually crazy. I love it, man. Season two picks up rapidly. <laughs> when I go back in for the loop, <laughs> like to get like another yes, I can't go in with the same information at 450 because I got 450 last time and it was a no. So it's, unless I come up with some pretty fucking banger shit, it's gonna be 450 with a no again. So I need to come in with more information, or new information, a better deal, or more perceived value. We just have fun, we talk sales, and it's the funnest thing in the world to have 10 or 20 dudes that, like, in the same house that all love each other, that are all going towards the same goal, that are all trying to make a lot of money, and that no one hates each other. So it's 450, they said no at 450. They said no, but what if I, Keep the price of 450, and I'm not going to add anything in, but I'm just going to talk a bit more in depth about how thorough the process is. It's in. all fun, and we're all trying to just become better. And that's what I've really created this company to do: is empower the people that work here to be leaders and bring in more people and have an awesome sales team Perfect. across the whole country. Hopefully, if I come in and go in for the close again with the same value, it's already a no. It's going to be a no again. So, why don't I throw something in? Why don't I throw in the outside the getters? Okay, so there's more value. So it seems like it's a 550 now. Okay, I gotta know again. Okay, if I go in with the same amount of value with the gutters, they're gonna say no again. Uh, fuck, what do I do? Um, why don't I take off 50 bucks? And still leave the gutters in. Okay, perfect. Now it's a 400. Okay, now they said no to that. Okay, well, sir, can I do something a bit crazy for you? I know you have the garage back there. I wasn't even including that in the pricing. Why don't I just throw that in for free for you? Boom, now it seems like it's a $600 job. And then they might say yes. And then you literally just went like this, and you literally went, boom, fucking fucking. He just, just pulled it against He did like one of these too. <laughs> yeah. yeah, I'm still buzzing. I'm then, still up. Then, I'm still ready to make some fucking this coins. Is, this job changed my life in so many ways. I mean, obviously, yeah, the money's unreal. But I mean, I would have never had a sales opportunity to go be a salesman that. 18. Um, they kind of got me to a point where I feel comfortable not only managing myself, but managing mm -hmm. the others in the crew. Um, it's a pretty and good feeling. It's cool feeling. because we've created something that can literally set people up for life if they work hard and if they believe in themselves. Now I believe in myself as a businessman and I believe in myself as a man. Hopefully changing their life in the same way that my life was changed. And that's why I've done this and that's why I continue to do and this. This job's all about learning. This job's all about growing. And it's because like I, I, like, I believe in myself and I believe in what I say. I'm watching how like crazy they are and like the, the things they do and they're like, man, they just live so free. Like they're not scared, like they're not scared of anything. And Oliver told me, he said, if you want to grow as a person, you have to put yourself in uncomfortable situations. I mean, worst case scenario, you hated it. I mean, you're definitely gonna learn a few things, but I mean, at least you make a couple thousand and 
you go back and you got a little bit of sales under your belt now and it's a great life experience all around. We get to live in a house for free. I mean, Oliver and Josh are kind enough to rent this place out for us and give us all a place to stay. So many amazing people to work with and uh, so many loyal people that really love what they do. And I just kept saying, man, keep pushing, keep learning, keep training, keep mastering your craft and eventually it'll come and train young guys to become men. He just kind of told me that life's too short to waste an opportunity like this. Oliver is obviously the best there is at the door to door game. It's pretty cool that we can, you know, partner up and do our like, own thing together and work really hard and just go in the same direction and just try to do something crazy. That's not what I needed to do. You know, I, I don't even qualify to work at McDonald's and I'm running a million dollar company with my brother. Stop, stop. Look Take away. that one. Take a look at it. Yep. Okay, we see you got it. Memorized. Yeah, Slide the hand, boys. Slide the hand. So take a look at it, Mick. I didn't see King it. King of Spades. Let's pick a new. Or sorry, Ace of Hearts. Let's pick a new card. It's too easy. <laughs> he's right. Right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I know he's right. What a trick! You already fucking no. give it to me. Give it to me. Give it to me. This is all part. Oh, okay. Thank you. This is all part of my. This is all part of my trick, boys. This is all part of my trick. I'm just showing you guys that I can manipulate the deck in any way I want. I'm a magician. This is the point of it. This I'm, is the a point of it. I'm, a, I'm the fucking magician. Stop, stop.